You had a lady doing crazy stuff on stage. How does your girlfriend take these things? I don't pay attention to stuff like that, Miss mm -hmm. Steph. If you've ever seen Dexter Dats perform, you know it's a madness in the best way possible. I've known Dexter for a hot minute, but we've never had a moment to chat about his journey to success. Today, we're getting to know a different side of one of Dancehall's biggest superstars. We're talking career highs, hard times, and the real ones that helped him on the way up. I'm Steph London, and this is The Rise with Shivas Regal. Welcome to The Rise with Shivas Regal. Now I want you to make some noise. I want you to raise this roof for our wonderful host, the beautiful Steph London and the man himself, Dexter Duck. I don't know what Welcome to Steph's <laughs> <laughs> Tell me about uh, some favorite mixed drinks or some favorite kind of vibes that you generally kind of Sometimes like. I just want to take it easy, you know what I mean? Okay. okay. Yeah, something like different. <laughs> so far so good, yeah? Everybody know all this. <laughs> Appreciate it, man. Appreciate it. Thank God, you man. so much, Reese. Let's Jesus cheers. Jesus Christ, I'm a nine of money as we come to start seat before. <laughs> <laughs> so tell me, what was it like growing up in Kingston, Jamaica? Because you're from Kingston, right? Steph, Kingston, Jamaica to me is like home in a different way. Mm -hmm. No matter how much money you make, how much you see in the world, it's something when we just used to and can't get out of. We grew up in an era where we have people who look out for each other. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Like a, a very small community. So we know, yeah. you know so what I mean? So it's like a tight community. Yeah, and then your parent whoop me and then my go home and go complain and my parent whoop me for complain. <laughs> That's the way I mean. Like, you should have listened. Yeah, you should have listened. Do you think like when the, the, the community discipline you, did yeah. it help? Yeah, definitely. Cause as, as I say, we grow with manners and respect. Mm. So he's from from Sea View. Sea View Garden. So make some noise for yeah. Sea View, cause that's yeah, Kingston, you know Jamaica. Yeah, man. So um, I actually came to see you. I came to his studio. Yeah. It was nice. He had Big a up nice. Got Steph for sure. We love our yes. studio. See him. Well, Yo, give to him to see... Steph for come and see you on the ground. Yeah, man. Okay. Tell me what it was like growing up in those areas and and with the music and the influence. Yeah. I mean. Just growing up seeing shabarangs mm -hmm. in your in, in your pupils, it just does it does something for you. It's like other people get to see this guy on the TV, and here he is driving past you. Then him go pull up around this, and then him actually can give a look a thing for buy a look a thing. I said, well, on, mm -hmm. he's a superstar. This people dying to see this guy. Mm -hmm. So we grew up seeing that in front of us. So it really inspired me to sing. Like, yo, me, we can do that. One day I could do that. So you know? what age was you when you saw Shaba and you said that? Oh, very young. I'm talking about five to eight. I'm seeing him right there. Like, they had this thing where his mom would, like, use his blessing and just keep a whole treat for the community. Wow. And that's how Shaba Mother Pot drop into place. Oh, Shaba Mother Pot. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> okay. Because she used to cook, like, this big pot of soup and, like, Kids that didn't have it, our okay. parents didn't have it, could pass and just bless your stomach. That's nice of his mom to do. That's yeah, very nice. Look, look how you soul. remember that, even from a kid till now. And that's so what I'm things, telling you about my man. kind of community. Mm. The we all me grow now, I have to grow with that discipline and then help others too. You know what I mean? Because that's what me learned. So you grew up with about six, you had six siblings, the six of you guys? Yeah, in one house. So there were seven. In, there were seven in my house. Yeah. There's seven of us. So there's six. My mom's right there. She 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 beat yeah. she beat your mother by one. <laughs> <laughs> like was it like a musical household? Because I feel like we'd be in Jamaican. I feel yeah. like music is in our blood. Let me tell you what type of music though. Church. Oh, gospel music. My mom is a full blown Christian. Like she don't even. If I know, I want her to know my song. I have to mm -hmm. send her a specific one and say, "This is the one I want you to hear." <laughs> yeah, don't listen to that one. Yeah, 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 song. yeah. yeah so. So you said you had one bedroom with between six siblings. Yeah, and then the two parents. 
Do you remember a time where you said, when you looked around and you said, you know what, I want better for us. I'm going to be of that course. person. Of course, sleeping make... in the tub sometimes not crazy, man. Mm, that is very You crazy. know what I mean? Like, you, you just put some clothes together in the tub and you just go in and sleep, sir. This is where I'm sleeping tonight. That's how life goes, you know what I mean? You make the most of what you have. I mean, I think we should give him a round of applause because he's changed. <laughs> he's helped change his family's life. And, you know, I, res I respect that because... Mm -hmm. Growing up, where you're growing up, you could always chose a different route, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And you could have... Sometimes it's hard for people to see a different way out because you're so ingested in what is in front of you. So the fact that you dreamt big and here you are today, you know, yeah. you're living testimony of... It can... Yeah, look I'm at your story. It's yeah, your I'm living on. testimony of no matter your situation. Believe. If you believe and you work hard, you will get there. Yeah, man, 100%. So, yeah. Man, I appreciate that too. <laughs> I work hard for two, man. Yeah. So, I heard that you call yourself a mommy's boy. On a scale of one to 10, what level of a mommy's boy are you? I was chilling outside, just like with three of my friends, I'm just chilling and talking. And the topic was about who for mother can lick them still. <laughs> uh, who grew up now. We are big man now. What kind of lick your mother can lick you? We are talking about brother. And I'm 25 years old. Mm -hmm. My mom does walk out and happen for hear this. Mm -hmm. Until I see my face turn around, <laughs> one hard slap in front of all of my friends, and I'm 25 years old. All of my friends them laugh at me for months. From that, I always look behind me, so. <laughs> <laughs> that kind of mama's boy, she do anything and get there. So even with my career, a lot of my family members, they didn't push it because I'm telling you, it's, it's mostly church people in mm -hmm. my family. But my mom was like, Hey, you know what? You know, I don't, I don't like what you do, and I'll never go with it. But I know you know what you're doing, so go ahead. And that blessing was enough for me to just go further and just do it. You got a cool mom. What? Yeah. Just like you. <laughs> yeah, my mom, was, my mom was very cool. My mom was very cool. You mentioned Shabba Ranks, but I also yeah. know you love Bounty Killer, right? What? So what is it about Bounty Killer that you said, you know what, that's the guy? Let me tell you, it's so much. Just younger watching him. I mean, just imagine this guy from the ghetto just taking over the music, going on top, on top, and making hit songs after hit songs. He like, I mean, he's up there. He's right up there. Him drink Pepsi. That's his favorite drink. Yeah. Like, I know him. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. But apart from that, on my journey through this music thing, I got to meet him the real way, like mm -hmm. a friend would. Yeah. So he had me mentoring me around him. Oh, that's nice. One thing with Bounty, I say he's a very much of a people's person. Yeah. I feel like what he's done for Jamaican culture could never be replaced. Like the way he just, my name, boom, boom. Yeah, we yeah. wore the two years. <laughs> <laughs> and they, the way he just does his voices. So you, like a practice now and then. <laughs> <laughs> I love you though. <laughs> bulletproof, that's your one. Bulletproof, <laughs> Don't make that come on in the club because I'm going crazy. <laughs> yeah, man. But Bounty Killer Man is, uh, is a great mentor. Like, mm -hmm. he slows down everything and shows you how to do it. I feel like the yes, older yes. generation passing it on to the younger generation for us to do even better. Yes. Do you know what I'm saying? I think we need that because we can learn from their mistakes. So, the other day, you was trending. Yeah. It's that trending topic. Trending. I, trending. I, I'm trending, I trending. don't know why. Trending. <laughs> <laughs> so you had a lady doing crazy stuff on stage. Tell me about this girl. What was what exactly, what was, paint the picture. Well, the picture just get crazy and intimate with the song. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? And then you want to come, well, like you want to come, you see me. So, so, so what song was you singing? We can't have some gone. Bring it to the owner. No. Now you did say you're my one that's a cop. And then she'll get in her mood and, and her vibes. And then you said one. bring it to the owner. Mm -hmm. So then the internet went crazy, not just because of the girl, because they said, him have a girlfriend. Yeah, yeah. So what was that conversation like? Because I see a lot of women going back and forth saying that's disrespectful. Some people say that's Jamaican culture. You know How does your girlfriend take the, these things? I don't pay attention to stuff like that in mm -hmm. the stiff. Because I'm doing my work, you know? Mm -hmm. Listen, if me stand up with you for too long, the more say, uh, 
Uh, Imana, I know. <laughs> <laughs> That's the kind of image me. Any now. guy, and by the way, any guy I take a picture with that could potentially look yeah, like a boyfriend, yeah, yeah. they already got yeah. me out there. I, I, know. Yes. Yeah, so yeah, I know yeah. how it goes. So that's the kind of career I have. So yeah. even for, for you to be my girlfriend, you have to understand stuff like that. Yeah. My music. Your music. Is my life. I live for it. Okay. That's all me. So you're saying any girl that comes into your life has to understand that this is entertainment, this is what I do. I did say I come dealing. Yeah. People just crazy sometimes. <laughs> just live, just live my life. You just gotta live your life. That's what yeah, I say. That's what I say. And sometimes life. it doesn't even mean nothing. It just here today, gone tomorrow. People want to say something in two days. They'll be onto something else. Exactly. Tell me about the times where it wasn't so glitz and glamour, or even the times now of what you go through behind the scenes where yeah. people won't know this is really what's happening. Born to kill, I was one of my saviors because it was hard to deal with the disc jocks them and the street DJs and just to get the thing in their hand for them to endorse it. So we used to go through some fights with them, man, because imagine we try to get taxi friends and all type of friends to say, yo, what God street can make this happen? Because we believe, you know what I mean? But Bounty Killer just said to us, say, yo, listen, stop work out the thing with them. Work out the thing with the people. You have some local stage shows. The squad to them that in a different communities and build a fan base. Mm -hmm. And you're gonna see how that get big. So how's your drink? Do you like it? Yeah, man. Him know him I do, man. Yeah, it tastes good. I like it. That's why we need another top up because okay. we need to really get Face a little nice top up? Yes. Yeah, man. <laughs> the little disco dancehall vibe, hey? Oh god. <laughs> <laughs>